Hello, this is the review of Sailor 1911 Large in the demonstrated gold finish. Let's get into the review. So there's other trims of this, such as solid colors in like so many different colors. Then there's two demonstrated versions, which is the gold, like in this case, and there's a silver one, I think, which is called rhodium trim. So yeah, now let's get into the body itself. There's no Sailor logo like with the Pro Gear. It's just a dome upstairs, like dome right there, and it has gold clip, which is not that stiff, still very use uh, practical. Then you have this like grayed out section for where the nib goes, which I'm assuming is to make sure the nib doesn't dry out, which is why it kind of looks kind of off because it's kind of cloudy compared to the other parts of the body. Now. On the, the band, it says Japan founded 1911 Sailor Japan. You see the converter. Just this is not this is a cartridge converter pen. This is not a piston converter. So yeah, and yes, there's nothing else there. It's just I mean, this is a dumpster, so you can see everything. I like that the converter is also like gold trimmed. When you open it up, the nib, as you can see, it's a 1911 large 21 carat. It's a fine nib. You see Sailor logo, 1911, scroll work. It's a plastic feed. This is a fine nib, so you can see that the tip is very pinpoint. The nib section is actually pretty good. It is actually not uh it's not like too skinny it's but it's not too dirty as either and what i like the best about this pen is that even though it's demonstrator most demonstrators in this area you can see the ink spill but in this demonstrator there's no ink spill which is so neat because like in if you have the demonstrator of custom uh like the other custom 74 i think you, in the custom server for demonstrate version, you can see the ink spill, but not in this case. But yeah, the nib is gorgeous, 21 karat gold nib, single tone. Now, this is like a regular sailor converter, which is also gold trimmed. This doesn't hold that much ink, but still good enough ink. I don't use, I don't care about too much ink capacity, it's not a problem with me. But if you want a bigger ink capacity, then this is not the choice. If you're looking for a if you're looking for a, a demonstrator with a great amount of ink capacity, I would recommend like a I don't know, like other pens such as the M805 demonstrator version or other like demonstrators are cheaper in the market. But yeah, this is a great pen. In terms of holding it, uh, this is a great hold. I mean, this is very comfortable for me. It's made out of resin, so it's pretty lightweighted, so it's not too heavy. When you post it, it's still balanced because it's resin, so it's not too he too heavy or anything. So it's a good weight if you're looking for a pen that does not, uh, if you're looking for a lightweight pen, this is a great choice. So yeah, this is a great pen. So let's get into the writing sample, then we're gonna do comparisons to other pens. Let's get into the writing sample. I'm writing through the cameras, it's hard to see, but. J. Herbin, anniversary version, and Emerald of Shavor. The green blue ink.
This is not a, I mean, there's not that much line variation. This is a very stiff nib, even though it's 21 carats. It is still a very stiff nib, I would say. But this is a great nib to write with. It has that, it has that sailor feedback, if you can hear it. It's like the nibs kind of like sings, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of like pencil type feedback, which is a very good feeling. You might think it's like, oh, scratchy, but it's actually a really good feeling. Let's get into just size comparisons. Okay, so I have the I mean 100, custom 23. These are the most I want to compare to. Then I have the Yukari Royale, just to show, and Mont Blanc 149, just show how big it is. I mean, how size and grand scheme. But yeah, you can see, I mean, it's way smaller. So it's going to be to just similar price points. The M800 and the Sailor 1911. You see, I mean, it's, it's smaller than all of them and has the same girth as I think this Custom E23. Now, when you uncap it, We uncap it, the, it is shorter than all of them once again. And the nibs, it is also has a shorter nib than all three of them. Smaller nib. The nib sections are similar actually. The Custom E23 in the Sailor 1911s has a similar nib section even though this one's a little bit longer. But this doesn't flare out like the other ones. Which I wish it would did. Even though it's still comfortable, I wish it flared out a little bit. As you can see when it is capped, which I don't I don't cap my pens, but if others do. So when it's capped, this is how it measures up to other pens. It's a good size, I would believe. But yeah. Uh, I can show how it looks next to a Mont Blanc 146. I mean, this is like a dwarfed by the Mont Blanc 149. I keep saying 146, but it's 149. Sorry about, sorry about the. Okay. Just cap these before we get to the final conclusion. So yeah, this pen is great. The reason I really like it because it has the pencil type feedback that Sailor is known for. And it's also very, uh, this is my only demonstrator pen right now, and which I really like. So yeah, this is a very fine nib though. So this has a lot of feedback, but good type of feedback if you like Sailor type feedback. So yes, uh, in terms of price, I bought this brand new for about 175 it was on sale so i think if it in terms of like retail value i think this is 200 something but i would not pay more than what i would pay for a custom e23 i bought this for like 175 so i would not bought this for about 250 so the maximum i would pay for this is about 220 maybe because after that it might be too overpriced for its price but it's a great pen. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day.